Jai Jai Radha Krishna Jai Ganamina 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 Arati Karai Lalita Disha Sita Arati Karai Lalita Disha Sita Ay Madhano Mohan Rupati Vanga Sala Yeah. 
This song that we'd like to dedicate to Guru Day today was written by Nilachana, who Didi is in the kitchen helping so much. So nice. It's very beautiful.
something in brief that from ocean ocean is my guru dev and i learned that as ocean always very gambhir grave atha apar asim no limit no limit never becomes shubdha agitated hmm? if in rainy season so much rain fall but not water not raising high and in the time of summer water does not go low so a devotee should be like very deep hmm? that gender people cannot could cannot oh what he is thinking hmm? very deep and if any calamity suffering anything coming so much happiness coming if then he is for calm and not angry not hmm? if anything good coming if not coming in worldly things if any good thing coming or going or oh, he never becomes very for all this you know patinga means eat in rainy season especially 
if he sees any fire, at once he thinks that very beautiful, very beautiful this, and jumps in the fire and burn for ever. So we should learn that we should not be attracted to oh, very beautiful form, whether lady or male. Never. Otherwise, he will lose his bhakti and thus his death. Weight of Parmarthi. Parmarthi returns dental death will be. Always think this. Especially sannyasis and brahmacharis. To whom Gurudev has told, be one pointed and give your own affection, energy, everything to Krishna. They should be always allowed for this. Otherwise, they will be like Patinga and they will, Parmartik Mukti will be done. <coughs> also he told, those who are mudha, very ignorant and foolish, they, Kamini Kanchan, Kamini you know, and Kanchan, Gold and Gahne Kapre Se Saji Hui, decorated by ornaments, powder, and so many lifties, so many things, pens. Hmm? Those who are attracted, then that is that is very foolish person. Hmm? A devotee should be a lord from this. Also, yesterday we explained about Madhumakhi, Madhu B. Don't collect so much. Otherwise, hunter will come and take you with your house. Okay? Vihani. And he will crush and will take you. Be always the alert. He telling that I'm always the alert. I like Brahma. Brahma means uh, bamboo bees. He only takes something little, a small quantity, from all kinds of flowers, and he does not keep it for tomorrow. Never. So we should be like that. Don't keep anything a sannyasi. They should not keep anything for to, to burn. And elephant we have told. And then deer. We will tell, speak about deer. I want that new one. Agyara Tinaram, the Sia, Janam, Jana Salakaya, Chakshur Unmilitam Yena. Tasmai Sri Guru Venama Vanshakal Patarupyascha Kripa Sindhu Vevacha Patitanam Pavanepya Vaishnavepya Namo Namaha First of all, I offer my limited Dhamma Pranama to my beloved spiritual master Om Vishnu Pada Paramahamsa Sattari Vrak Achari Astatata Sri Srima Bhakti Vedanta Sila Narayan Maharaj. Then I offer my humble obeisances to all the Acharyas in our Guru Varga and unto all the assembled Tridandi, Sanyasis, elevated Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, guests, 
Please accept my humble obeisances. Srila Gurudev has uh, ordered me to speak on deer. Yeah. What, did, what can we learn from deer? What did Dattatreya yeah, express here? What he learned from the deer? So the deer is very easily captured by beautiful sound. Hunter plays on flute and deer very easily comes near and hunter can shoot the deer. Deer comes near and hunter catch the deer yeah. by sweet music. So here we learn that if we become attracted to mundane musical performances or very sweet sounds language coming from the mundane realm very easily we become captured by death we will be caught in the network of maya yeah, the material energy why because this sound yeah very pleasing to the ear and we forget yeah, what is most important in human form of life we are given the very rare the most valuable opportunity to become attracted to our best friend who is always with us, the Supreme Personality of God at Krishna. We are looking outside for help, for happiness, for shelter and we become attracted by our senses. Hearing beautiful sound of any opposite sex, yeah, lady or male, we think, oh how nice this sound. This person is very sweet and attractive. I should meet more intimately with them. And before we know it, captured. Yeah? And whole life we will spend so many activities we will have to perform and become more and more entangled in the web of Maya. However, becoming very fortunate, coming in contact with Sadhu Sangha, we can overcome this great obstacle if we become attached to the sound vibration emanating from the lotus lip of the pure sadhu then as we have heard many times maybe not all of you but we have heard from Sripad Bhagavad Prabhu by that sound vibration our heart will be colored with such a beautiful attachment for Krishna this like the saffron particles yeah. <laughs> And then everything will become saffron, very beautiful. <laughs> so that is what we really want. Yeah. So this we can learn from there. Be very, very careful. Always come in Sadhu Sangha and become attached to hearing Harikata. This will save us. Follow Harikata everywhere in the world. Even if you have no attachment, keep following and one day you'll be attached. Next, the fish. Fish, I yes. Fish is very eager to taste yeah, with its tongue. It wants to always taste something which it sees in, a, in its near environment. That is why very easily fishes become hooked. Yeah. The fisherman, he knows, he puts some bait on the hook and very quickly he catches fishes. So the tongue is the most difficult, voracious to control. By the tongue, we get entangled in so many problems yeah, in this world. If we cannot control the tongue, yeah, we want to taste so many different preparations in this world. Yeah. Even devotees, if we come in the path of bhakti, we should be careful. If we overeat, yeah, always wanting to taste some good preparation, what will happen? Big belly coming. Yeah. Pressure. And we will want to enjoy illicit connection with the opposite sex. And then more problems coming. So this is the teachings which we receive from the fish. That we should be very careful to control the tongue. Oh, this can have no bone. No backbone, you they always say. No bone. It can go everywhere in mouth. If you will not control, then Mahabharata better will be. 
Mahabharat battle will come and finish. Like Sita also, Ram, Rama, Yuddha, battle of Ram. Only due to turn, they could not control. Doctor told to Duryodhan, Oh, blind son is blind. No, like father, like son. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, he did a vow, pratigya, that I will take revenge from this lady. And that is why he wanted to make naked. And for that, he promised that I will kill Doshasan and then by his blood drop the case with this. When Ram Lakshman Sita were in forest, when Ram was pursuing Marish, a deer, like gold and deer. And at the time of death, he called, Oh Lakshman, Oh Lakshman. The Lakshman, uh, Sita Devi told, Oh Ram, in danger you must go. But she, he denied. Any danger cannot come to Ram. And he is very strong. Any danger cannot come to him. But Sita Devi, the, he repeatedly told, oh, you should go, you should go. Oh, you want to marry me and Ram should be killed? Then he became, oh, I'm going. But very danger will come. Don't cross this. And when he left, at once Ramana was there, came like a tridentary sannyasi. Oh, Bhikshang Dehi, Bhikshang Dehi, Bhikshang Dehi, like that. And Sita came, oh, I cannot go out of, so please take from here. But he told, oh, I will cause, hmm? I will cause, I am not an ordinary. And by this, she crossed the, When Sita Devi came to Ajodhya and after so many days, months, years, when Sita was in going in exile, Ram forever kept exile. Then she was weeping and telling, Oh, I have done offense to Lakshmana. I insulted it. So, and going to this, this stage. So always try to control. Be deep. <coughs> and then Pingala Shyamran. Salakaya Chaksura Militam Yena Tasma Sviguru Gainama. First, I offer my unlimited obeisances unto the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru Dev, Nichilila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pai, Astotara Satishri Shriman Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shiksha Guru Dev. Om Vishnu Pad Astotara Satasri Sriman Shula Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj to all of our disciplic succession and all the assembled devotees and guests. Shula Gurudev has ordered me to speak about the next of Dadatreya's 24 gurus and that is Pingala, the prostitute. From the prostitute, Dadatreya said that he learned that if one has material desires, whether those desires are fulfilled or not, doesn't make any difference. If one has material desires, he'll be very, very unhappy. And if one is free from material desires, then he becomes very happy. 
Another thing that Dada Treya learned from Pingala is that failure is the pillar of success if one is sincere about success. Pingala is a prostitute of the city of Videhi. And this prostitute would go out of her house every evening looking for a lover. Not for love, but for money, because this is how she maintained herself. So one night she went out and making very beautiful poses and trying to be very attractive. She was hoping that a lover would come. But the lovers, the men came and left and nobody came up to her. So she began thinking, maybe this one, maybe that one will think that I'm very beautiful. Oh, that one looks like he has money. Well, that one just passed. But then there's another one. He looks very rich. I'm sure he'll be attracted to me. So thinking and thinking and trying and making all kinds of gestures, nothing was happening. And gradually, midnight came, and she became very, very depressed and disappointed. She became so depressed and so disappointed that somehow or other, detachment entered her heart. Failure can be the pillar of, her, of success. So Pingala began to feel detachment and disgust for her own situation. And she spoke very, very uh, instructional words to us. She said, why am I wasting my human form of life just to get some money and sense pleasure from insignificant men? These men themselves are the source of pity. They are the object of pity. And I'm trying to get enjoyment from them. She said, I've uselessly tortured my own soul. Actually, this body, and she began to compare the body, because with detachment comes knowledge. So she began to compare her own body with a building, and the bones being the cross beams, and other parts of the body just being structures of the house. And I've just ruined my life just for ordinary, insignificant men who are made of skin and blood and pus and urine, covered by some bodily hairs. And for this, I've ruined my whole life. Actually, the only friend is the friend of all living entities, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who sits in my heart and the heart of everyone. He's the only one that can give happiness to anyone. He's the Lord of the entire creation. Just by a portion of himself, a portion of a portion of a portion of a portion of a portion, he breathes in and out unlimited universes. And we're all within him, and he is within us. So why am I giving my life for something? that is only the cause of distress. I spend my days and my night just for sense gratification. Then she began increasing her humility. Of all of Videha, I am the most wretched and the most fallen. Nobody is as abominable as me. And then she became more attached to uh, developing her relationship with Krishna and she became determined to do that. So then, as she was thinking in this way, all of her disappointment and all of her disgust left and she became very, very peaceful as though her desires were satisfied. As Lord Vamandev said when he was offered by 
Bali Maharaj, why do you only want three steps of land? I can give you elephants and kingdoms and beautiful women as your wives. So Lord Vamandev said, one who is not satisfied by three steps of land cannot be satisfied by nine islands. One who tries to satisfy his senses beyond what is absolutely needed to maintain body and soul together. He loses all of his verminical prowess, he loses all of his spiritual strength, and he becomes fully dissatisfied. So, thinking in this way, Pingala went back inside her house, and she sat down on her bed, and she had a very good night's sleep. Our Srila Prabhupada gives a very interesting example about one very chaste wife whose husband, although she was very chaste and faithful, very good servant, he desired a prostitute. So when she found this out, because she was so chaste, she went to that prostitute's house and began working for her. When the prostitute saw this, she said, you don't realize how expensive I am. So the uh, wife began working more and more, and finally she became a prostitute and made enough money for her husband. When she gave him the money, no gratitude, he just left and went to the prostitute's house. So generally, when someone goes to a prostitute's house, first she gives him an elaborate dinner. And as uh, Rajanath Prabhu just mentioned, when the tongue gets more and more gratified, the belly becomes very full, and then the uh, lusty desires increase. So, because this prostitute knew the wife, and she knew what kind of a person this husband was, she served the food in two kinds of um, containers. One was a brass container, and the other was a golden container. So he sat down, he said, what is this? She said, just taste the preparations and then tell me what you think. So he tasted the preparation from the gold container and the brass container. She said, well, what do you think? He said, it tastes exactly the same. So she said, yes, you are such a rascal that you don't realize that this taste of sense gratification is exactly the same in myself, in your wife, in the cats and the dogs, and in the demigods. That taste of satisfying one's lusty desires is exactly the same. So in this way she was able to instruct him. So Pingla is a very good instructor. She accepted failure as the pillar of success. When everything goes wrong, we can take it as Krishna's causeless mercy to become detached from the body. And actually, the Dadatreya even said later that one of my gurus is this body, because no matter how hard I try to please it, it's always dissatisfied and the end is disaster. So we learn from the prostitute Pingala as one of the 24 gurus. Thank you. Narasham Paramam Sukham Jachind Kantasa Suswaya Pingala Asahi Paramam Dukham Oh, what do you desire? Oh, this is suffering. And detached from what do you desire? Oh, there is happiness. And that is why when Pingala prostitute Oh, gave her everything, all worldly desire, and he became one pointed to, to Krishna. Then he became happy and she oh, slept very well, very well. You should. She has worshipped. Oh, any good sadhu. And per perhaps he was Dattatriya. Yes. Huh. Huh. It had been written. 
and that is why malli sadhu sang malli sadhu sang malli but high class of sadhu sang those persons and ladies even in their old days going to marry not satisfied whether they are married three times four times they are children even bogus person for this person lady and man. Mm. what they doing oh new marriage new marriage bogus i pray krishna that you should give them intelligence that they should be retired from work and they should be happy be be careful in old age don't they touch be what detached from worldly desires this human life is very very well but don't lose and then all up who oh the you see a innocent boy then you ृपेशाई <laughs> So parents adults they take so much trouble to provide themselves with money with a house good food refrigerator a motor car washing machine cd players nice one computer all these things to do this they have to work very very hard in material life they have to work hard like animals on the treadmill you know they have the bull is crushing on they have on this treadmill they're working working so hard in a job that they hate which has got no connection with real life at all it's just part of an artificial system and then with that money then they buy useless things which are actually no use for real life also and in this way they're spending the whole of their lives uh just to maintain themselves in society so the man comes home exhausted at 8 o'clock at night and the child is there he says oh daddy give me money <laughs> so the child is he doesn't pay he, he's not got any duties anything but he's enjoying quite happily no arrangements at all so actually we're all living in the lap in the hand of krishna and krishna is providing sometimes he's providing a lot sometimes he's providing a little so that the tray explain that there's two kinds of people who are happy in this world one is the foolish innocent child who takes no trouble for his own maintenance but he's maintained by parents without any trouble at all and the other one is paramahans everybody else is is so much problems struggling so much for sense gratification struggling so much for survival the animals they're living quite happily the foolish child is all also living happily so this is the lesson that if we simply accept what is coming by krishna's grace by gurudev's grace and become learn to become satisfied with that sometimes we want more than comes then we should understand that this is a lesson that actually we want more but we need less or maybe we need to learn how to make do with less to be happy and contented with oh, less oh hari krishna oh gobinda pran prabhu prabhu kumari young lady where gobinda pal prabhu Not here. Where is she?
Yeah. <laughs> you need a book. Young lady. No, you don't. You need a book, book. at her home. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Young lady has visitors at her home, so she thinks immediately I have to make some preparation, some offering in order to be hospitable. She has bangles on her arms, so she disappears into the kitchen in order to create some offering and satisfy her guests, but she doesn't want them to know that she's back there in the kitchen doing all the work on the spur of the moment. So her bangles, which are clashing together, are making noise. So she thinks, oh, they'll know what I'm doing if the bangles are making so much noise. Therefore, I better get rid of the bangles. And of course, she picks one bangle, crushes, throws it. Another bangle crushes until she has two bangles on each arm. She thinks, okay, now I'm good, but she begins working, and again, noise, just because of two bangles. Therefore, she finally takes one bangle off of each wrist and leaves one on. One bangle can't clash against anything else, and no noise is coming, and she's able to accomplish her task. And what is this, what's the lesson, teaching, that, what is the lesson? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it was a great story, so like if a person lives with so many others, then they'll be clashing discussions and difficulty in talking, but so much prajalpa will create political unrest. Therefore, if we rid ourselves of that prajalpa, that clashing of bangles, but what's the solution? Living alone. Nobody to clash with. This, of course, doesn't mean nirjan. This not, means doesn't mean with no one. It means living with... Uh, like-minded uh, Svajatiya, Snikdasya devotees who are kindly disposed towards you and who have the same mood, then there'll be no fighting, no problem, no prajalpa, only pure harikata. Thank you. Okay. Uh, don't think Nirjan means without anyone alone. No. He told, but Swajati Snigda Asaya Vaishnavasana. This is also called Nirjan. If you will think that Nirjan Bhajan, then you will have to do the uh, associate with elephant and tigers, bears, and all animals or trees. Mosquito and so many things. <coughs> Very good. Arrow maker, Radha Khan. Om Jnana Timarandasya Jnananjana Salakaya Chakshurum Militam Nyanathas Vaisi Gurve Namaha First of all, I offer my humble obeisances to the lotus feet of Shishiman Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Swami Maharaj Madhikshi Guru Prabhupada Guru Varga 
to Tri Dandi Sanyasi Gan or Vaishnavas Vaishnavis and guess my respects to the audience. But he telling don't ask me. <clears throat> there was once an arrow maker who fashioned by wood very long straight arrows with sharp points. This was his occupation. One day he was engaged in his trade and a huge procession came by the king. Whenever a Maharaj goes out, they're usually followed by many, many big retinue of guards, people playing music, sometimes holding umbrella, elephants, horses, kettle drums, very big procession because he's a, an important person, huh? a Maharaj, a king, so he never goes alone. At this time, the king was passing by and this huge tumultuous sound was going on. The arrow maker was fixed in his occupation. So much so that he didn't even notice or hear anything from the king's procession. So we know that this means that a devotee or a sadak who is one pointed in our bhakti, engaged in sravanam, kirtanam, vishnu, smaranam, hearing, chanting, remembering, or doing various types of practical services, uh, archanam, padasevanam, dasyam, sakyam, atmani, vedanam, or serving in so many different ways, if our mind is absorbed in our service, in our Gurudev, in Krishna, then we're not seeing so many allurements and beautiful things of this world to attract us into Maya. So the arrow maker is this example of a person who can be completely fixed, and even though there is a large disturbance, something that would normally attract the mind of someone, he is not disturbed. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Vishaya Vinivartante Niraharashitehina Raso Sosavarjam Raso Piyasya Param Drishtva Nivartate. And even if a person controls his senses, we're talking about all the different senses. Even one sense, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, if we become attached to it, it can carry us away. The tongue, the sight, everything. So, if we don't become distracted and with our sadhya, our goal fixed in mind, doing our sadhya and our practice in Krishna consciousness, then param drishtva we will get some higher taste. And from that higher taste, we can remain fixed in consciousness. One thing about the fish that I wanted to mention was that the fish is so attached to the taste of palatable food that he becomes captured. In the purport, there is some commentary that in Krishna consciousness we have twelve rasas, five primary rasas and seven secondary rasas. And these rasas are transcendental uh, Hobs or feelings and emotions combined with the different ingredients of ras that create an extraordinary taste in the heart and mind of the sadak. So, if uh, one goes to Brindavan and traverses the twelve forests, each forest represents one ras. If we do parakram of Brindavan, or if we're hearing about the wonderful pastimes of Krishna and Vrindavan and all these forests, then these different moods and tastes will come. So by experiencing this higher taste, or by being fixed in consciousness, just like the arrow maker was very fixed in consciousness, he was not attracted by maya, he was not disturbed, and he was able to perform his duty perfectly. Very good. Oh, Thank you. Oh. Natatre told that I make my Shiksha Guru Shne why Bhagavad Prabhu. Om Kamirandasya Yananjana Salakaya Chaksura Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Venamaha First I would like to offer my most respectful and humble obeisances millions of times at the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru 
the Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Sri Prabhupada. And again, an equal amount of obeisances, millions of times at the lotus feet of my Divine Shikshu Guru, His Divine Grace, Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. To all the Tri Dandi Sanyasi Gang, to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis in the assembly, I offer my Dandavat pronouns. So, the next person that Dr. Treya learns from, the next guru that he receives information from, is the serpent. And the serpent, he learns to wander alone, live alone. The serpent, when he is living in the forest, and he is moving here and there, basically, he is completely dependent on whatever is provided for him as food. A serpent has no hands, no legs, no way to obtain any food, no way to obtain any sustenance, except what happens to come in his path. As he is moving in his path, then any animal which comes within his path, as opportunity presents itself, as it's provided, then he has a chance to get a meal. And if nothing is provided, then he remains... Uh, it is for python. Python. Not for snake. Oh, different snake. Okay. <laughs> he lives alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I got the two snakes confused. <laughs> yes. This, <laughs> this snake, this snake, what he does is he stays alone. And sometimes this snake, he wants to find a place to stay, to be protected from the elements. So when the snake is moving here and there, he will see that sometimes certain rodents, like mouse, rats, and others, they will create holes in the ground. When they create those holes in the ground, snake just takes advantage, he comes down in that hole, and he lives there, and then he becomes protected from the elements. So this story is an example about the sage, about someone who is living in simplicity in Krishna consciousness. A person who has given up his desire for activities within this material world. And like the arrow maker is trying to remain one pointed in the practice of Krishna consciousness. Who is trying to absorb himself always in the taste of the different rasas of Krishna consciousness and develop his spiritual consciousness. So that person, he will not try to work hard or to endeavor to create a home or to create any place for himself. He knows that there are already, by the arrangement of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, so many persons who are working very, very hard. And they are producing so many homes and so many facilities. And if he remains one-pointed in his Krishna consciousness, these facilities will become available to him. There is one story uh, that's on the video of my Guru Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, walking in this beautiful park in Los Angeles. So he is walking in the park and he is saying, just see, all the engineers had to work very hard. They had to develop a great plan to put up all the trees, all the roads, all the different facilities in the park. And so many people had to work hard and pay taxes and government had to spend so much money to build and construct this place. Everything has been provided. I have done nothing, but I am walking in the park and enjoying. <laughs> he said, so, a sage will be like this. One who is in Krishna consciousness, he will let others work very, very hard who are attached to material sense gratification. They will work very hard. They will create so many facilities. And then the sage will come and engage them in Krishna's service. <laughs> oh.
वाटीज मकड़ी आ यो स्पाइडर यो नो नो यो हाँ यो नो डोंट नो हाँ एंड दैट व्हाट अचूत बर्बाद क्रेन अच्छा सजन मारा स्वाति मारा स्वाति यू First of all, I offer obeisances to Gurudev, to Dandi Vaishnavas, ladies and gentlemen. So the next Guru on the list of Sri Dadatraya is the spider, the Makri. So his activities are very wonderful, just like the activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead himself or a liberated soul. So the spider web comes from the spider. It is not different from the spider. And the spider moves on the web up and down, but never becomes entangled within the web. And after the time is finished, then the spider dissolves the web back into himself, remaining in an unchanged position. Therefore, the spider is like the Supreme Lord. <laughs> the creation comes from within him, within his own energies. Therefore, it is not separate from himself. The Supreme Lord comes to this world in various incarnations and moves within this world but is not entangled in the activities of this world. And after everything is destroyed, only he remains. In Chatur Sloki Bhagavatam it said, Aham eva sag eva gri nani gyat sata sat param tat pasyat gyat eta chayo visesa asmi aham. Krishna says to Lord Brahma, O Brahma, before there was anything, there was only me. What you see now in the creation is me itself and after everything is dissolved, only I remain. Also the liberated soul, he is also like a spider. <clears throat> in the sense that he is moving this world, interacting with many different persons, many different situations, but he always remains completely unattached to it. Thingy. छोड़ दिया जाए। ओम ज्ञान तिमरंगहसा ज्ञान अंधनस्लाक्या चक्षुर नलितं जेना तस्मै स्वी गुरवे नमः so Srila Gurudev uh, ordered me to speak about what lesson Dattatreya has learned from the, the Bringi, from the wasp. So it's described in the Shastra that the wasp is searching for some prey and it chases a small insect called Telkata, means the oil stone worm. So there's a, a stone, and in the stone there's a small hole, and the worm is hiding inside that hole in order to escape the attack of the wasp. So the wasp comes right up to the entrance to the hole, but he cannot get inside in order to uh, eat or attack that worm. And the worm is in the small hole, and his entrance, his exit, his escape is completely blocked. And all he can hear is really loud. And he's terrified. He's completely terrified. But what happens? As Srimad Bhagavatam is stated, Kita Pesas Krita Rudha Kudayam Tamanusmaram Samrambhaya Yogena Vindate Tat Sarupatam. When that small worm is terrified, completely absorbed in fear of the wasp. 
he becomes so absorbed in fear of the wasp that he transforms gradually and becomes himself a wasp. Mm -hmm. So, there have been different explanations. The scientists say that the, the wasp stings him and plants the eggs inside and then they grow and he hatches out. Srila Prabhupada, in his purport, he explained that the that um, worm, he's so absorbed in thinking of the wasp that he dies and then next life must become a wasp. But in any case, the teaching is that whatever w one's mind is absorbed in, then one will become like that. So Srila Rupa Goswami part, he explained, Krishnam smaram janam chasya prastam nija samihitam tattakatara chasya so kariyad vasam brajay sadam one should always engage the mind in remembering Krishna, but not alone, Krishna along with his associates. Selecting one very dear intimate associate of Sri Krishna, one should constantly engage in remembrance of them and how they serve Radha and Krishna, and constantly hear Katara about that associate. And if physically or if not physically, at least in one's heart, one should always reside in Vrindavan. And by gradually coming to the platform of absorption, then one will become like the associate one is remembering. So in Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna also explains that yam yam vapi smaram bhavam chadyatyanti kalevram that whatever one remembers at the time of death, he will attain that state. So if our life is spent remembering mundane material personalities and so on, then in the next life, we will take birth and become like them. And if one is, as Bharat Maharaj, remembered a deer and became a deer in his next life. But similarly, if one will spend his time, her time, day after day after day, remembering the associates of Sri Krishna, at the end of this life, one is sure to become an associate of Sri Krishna. So this is the lesson that Dattatreya learned from the Bhringi. And in the end, Datta said that my, my body is myself. You can. So, in the continuation of 24 Gurus of Dattatriya, although Dattatriya is not an ordinary human being like ourselves, is Incarnation of Vishnu and came in this world in son of Atri and Anusuya Devi. So, Dattatriya is teaching not for himself, he is teaching us how we can advance in Krishna consciousness. If we attach in this, our in this physical body, this body is not permanent, it is temporary and perishable. You want or not, one day we have to give up this body. So we are like refuge in this world. So we have not any permanent resident green card or neither sit um, passport. So we have to give up one day. So if you too much attached, then we have to suffer in so many ways. Like in our body, so many senses. If we have heard as before, so many living entity, they spoil their life due to only one, one sense. Like deer, he attached to our sweet sound, fish spoil his life for sweet taste, moth spoil his life due to good, nice beauty, beauty, and elephant spoil his life due to skin, touch, in so many ways. But human beings, all his senses, like is omen, one on omen. Like if any king has so many omens, they are pulling their own side. He was, one 
women, one queen want to control king, another queen want to control king, like this way they are pulling all eyes. They are not looking the king happiness. They want their own sense gratification. In the same way, our body has so many senses, five Ganendriya acquiring knowledge and five Karmendriya to do some activity. So all are pulling towards their own sense gratification. So you have to be careful. After that, he is telling the Yadu Maharaj for the whole world that what is the utility of this human body? Labdha sudra lavam idam bahu samba mante manusya martada manitta mapiya dhira turnam yatidra pati donumitta javat nishya saya vishya khalu sarvata syat Labdha sudra lavam idam bahu samba mante This human body has achieved after first of all the human body is extremely rare we have heard other day that 8.4 million species, among them human being only 400,000. So that is less quantity, not like other living cells, like animal, birds, not like that. We are not did so good job that we can obtain human life. But Bhagavan mercifully gave us one chance. If we one beggar enter in a country and the country was very big over like China Oval. So he enter and knock Radhesham, Radhesham means give me some alms. No one is coming there. So then he is touching his one hand on the, against the wall and another hand stick because he is blind, could not see and moving around. When the door has come to come out, there is some scratching, he scratch and in the meantime door has been passed. There is 84 miles. That means, what is that? 804 million thousand species. So it travels so many species. Bhagavan gave us mercifully human life, <coughs> but in misuse. What the scratching? That means we involve ourselves in sense gratification and not use our human being properly, so we have to suffer again. Labdha sudra labdha bhausam mavante manusam orthodam anittam apiyadhira. Only human, by human body, you can do Krishna consciousness, not by others. Even in Srimad Bhagavatam it mentioned, especially in this Dhanakali, even the demigods want to take birth in this world, material, why? They can do Krishna consciousness. Even being heavenly planet, what to say about other higher planet or lower planet, not possible to do Krishna consciousness. You can do Krishna bhajan only this material world, because this material world is sadhan bhumi, karma bhumi. <coughs> Bhausamavante manusam arthala manittam apiyadhira. Manusam arthala, and by these human beings you can do only Hari Bhajan. For other living beings, other species, there you can get ahar nidra bhaya maithu nancha. Means eating, sleeping, mating, and defending is common to all living entity. But what is the speciality of human beings? If we engage ourselves for all these things, then we are foolish or not here. Turunam jatidna patid anumrittu javat, unless until our death is not coming, before that we have to engage ourselves for Krishna consciousness. In these circumstances, our Param Guru Dev, Shla Bhakti Pradhan Keshav Vasai Maharaj, has narrated one story about Lopta Sudhulam Amidam. Once, one very big seminar was going on, between human beings and animal. Animal told we are qualified and we are more superior to the human beings and human beings know we are superior. Then for human beings, they choose their leader as an attorney because they can do very good argument. And from other side, the animal, although lion is the king of animal, they choose a boar. Boar, wild boar. Pig. So now discussion was going on, human being told that the attorney that we are qualified than other beings. 
the pig told, how come? Then he went, the attorney replied, we are taking every day very nice food stuff, sweet rice, rasmalai, pakodi, kachodi, so many nice things. Then the pig began to laugh, seeing his laughing, all animals began to laugh, like lion and above, tiger roaring, elephant trumpeting, all these things going on. Well, how come? Oh, human being, oh, that they are utterly, what you are doing, you could not eat anything fresh thing. Because what you are making, it passed from, from farm to camp market, then you purchase, you store in your house, like thing in sugar to make sweet rice. You have need rice, milk, and sugar, and other thing. But no one can you get a fresh thing. It comes so many process, then we can still not fresh at all. But when you pass in, then I can take the fresh food, no stale at all. And you have to not store in free heaven also. <laughs> the second point the attorney raised, oh, we can sleep in air-conditioned room, jalop, mattress, so many facilities, especially in age of science. The board told, okay, whatever you may do, but we have so many problems, but we can sleep in a drain. We have no fear for any infection. If you sleep there, you may get infection and your body will be a problem and you have to go to hospital, maybe enter in the coma. For, we have nothing. We don't care for any infection or other thing. So we are superior. Then the human being told that you have so much fear. If you take on stick, you will run away. The pig told, no, we are not so much fearful. You are more fearful than us. The attorney asked, how come? Then he told, listen, we have, sometimes we may quarrel with each other with our paws or our beak, our mouth there. That's an abnormal then, more than, than that. And you guys are doing so much thing you are making, atom bomb, nitrogen bomb, so many things. Why? Because you are so many fearful. We are not so much fearful. Moreover, you are earning so much money, millions and billions and trillions of dollars, and you are studying in, in, studying in bank. And you are not scared for that. You are thinking that dollar is dollar, brighter than solar, and cooler than lunar. Dollar is dollar. If you have dollar, then you will be scholar. If you have no dollar, then you will be fuller. This is a philosophy. But we never earn any money, not deposit in bank. But listen, you are incoming so much money. And when you give in bank and take it out for some reason, if any decades come to know, they'll shoot you down and take you all money. So we have not such kind of fear. Thank you. And moreover, <laughs> we are living forest here and there, and you make your house, then security system, you have done so many things, you are not doing all these things. Then the attorney told, we are enjoying sense gratification in so many ways. Then he told, okay, but you can produce one child a year, sometimes twins. But I am producing so many child at a time, so we are superior. Then attorney told, okay, but we can do Krishna Bhajan. You cannot do so. Then by this point they got defeat. So get, begin, getting human beings, human body, if you are not doing Bhajan, then we are tailless and hornless animal, not more than that. Hare Krishna. <laughs> When Krishna told that Chadu Maharaj heard all these things, and after that, Dattatre went on further going here and there, very happy. And what became of Jadu Maharaj? At once, detachment from world, worldly desire came. And he also left this world, uh, uh, royal palace and his relatives and all, and went to forest to do bhajan. So if anyone hearing all these 24 gurus teachings, what should be the fruit? And even detachment is not coming. 
then he is like animal, animal. So, we should learn all these things. And then Krishna began to tell that in this world and in heavenly planets there is no happiness. In this world you sh we are realizing this that what we want in this world, money, prestige and everything. After death, nothing is there. Like dream, no happiness at all. And in Swarga, Indra and other demigods drinking Sumrasman Amrita, nectar, Hmm? But even they are immortal, they are not immortal. Hmm? They have death. Hmm? And again, oh, birth and death and birth and death. So, we should understand these things. One day you must be old. You cannot enjoy anything in old age. So many ropes and everything. So you should know Guru, the Swarup of Krishna. Yeah? Huh. Guru Krishna Rupahan Shastri Parpani. Shiksha Guru Kajana Krishna. Shakshat Haritri na Sarva Shastri. Rukhsat Tatha Bhav Vyata Yevas Prabhodya So you should hmm? obey Guru. Don't make him displease. Always obey. And try to serve with your whole life and everything. Hmm? You should do Shiva. First Bhakti is this. Srila Rupa Goswami has told 64, among them 10 about Guru, Guru Padasha and everything. And then give up alasya, laziness, pramad. And you have Dridha Nurag in the lotus feet of you. Very strong detachment. In Guru Charan. Don't criticize anyone. Never. Otherwise, their bad quality will come to you. Don't also praise them. Worldly praise is nothing. And you should be detached from worldly things. And thus you will be happy. Without sadhu sang and guru seva, without obeying him, you can, cannot progress in this devotional life. Then again Krishna began to tell you, Baddha, Baddha, Mukta and Bhakta. Three. Take it. Very last. Oh, again, Tasmay Sri Guravi Namah. First of all, I offer my thousands, thousands of essences, Lord Aspid of Sri Guru Pad Padma, all presents, all sannyasi, all Vaishnavs, mothers, and sisters. Please accept my dundavat pronouns. 
we hear so very nicely Hari Katha. So Sri Krishna spoke to Uddhava when he wants to go to that transcendental place in Nitadham at that time. Also Uddhava when came, then Sri Krishna told, Oh my dear Uddhava, you can live after me in this world and you can manifest Sanatana religion. Then he was crying and he told, How can I live? How can I control my senses in your separation? And how, how can how can control my knowledge, heart, everything? Then Sri Krishna spoke these things, these teachings. Anyone, they control by the knowledge and so also the Tatri, he learned from Chobis Guru, so you can learn these things. After then, Kalina Jarasam Gata. So, Uddhav always served to Sri Krishna whole life. Whole life he served. He is not old, but always same to Sri Krishna. Very good sign. But he never left to Sri Krishna, always hoping for Sri Krishna. That time, Sri Krishna gave this instruction. After then, when Uddhav asked to Sri Krishna, Oh, my dear Krishna, please tell me conditioned souls, liberated souls and devotees like. How can, how can we liberate At that time, Sri Krishna spoke so many kathas, they are conditioned souls. Who is conditioned souls? Neha jatkarma dharmaya na viragaya kalpate na tirtha pada sevayai jivan napi mruto hisa. Whose life, whose work, everything not offered to Sri Krishna. And no religious mood, no renunciation mood, and not serve him to Sri Krishna. They are Jivan Mrita. They are lives, they are going dead. They are not living in this body. Eh? Leave him dead bodies. So, they are conditioned souls. Always they have attachment in this mind, body, and house, family, everything. And other way, condition, yeah, liberated souls, always they are serving to Sri Krishna. Yaha yasya harel dasya, karmana manasa gira, nikhila swapavastha su, jivan mukta sa ujjati. They are liberated souls. They are living in body. In family life, but not here. Always they have attachment. Yaha dasa, yaha jasa, harir dasa. Always all, all things, whole life, they are serving to Sri Krishna, harir dasa. Yaha jasa, harir dasa, karmana manasa gira. His mind, his heart, his body, everything of heart to Sri Krishna serving. And whole life, whole world, everything they are serving for Sri Krishna. Nikhila Sapa Vastasu, any time, all is engaged. They, they call liberated souls, they have no attachment. So when we are living in this body, this body is like one people tree. So there are two birds living. So one bird eating people fruit and other birds laughing and watching what happening. Who is eating this people fruit? Then he is weeping and hungry, cannot eat this people fru fruit. So nothing dear, very small, and all is losing body, going health. So everything less. Then all is weeping, weeping. There are super soul, Paramatma. He is living in our body. He is otherwise. So he is watching and laughing. Oh, what are they doing? But. Jeep souls, conditioned souls cannot listen and cannot take care. In this way, they are both conditioned souls and liberated souls. There are so many devotees like Sri Krishna spoke. In this world, sadhu, sadhu's qualities, then, then devotees, Vaishnav's qualities, after then good prene, their qualities. So Sri Krishna spoke. Kripalu akrutadroha satta sarasama 
निर्दोष प्रदान मृदु सुचि अकिंचन सर्वोपकारक संत कृष्ण के शरण मित अप्रम मानद अमानी गंभीर करुण मैत्र कवि दक्ष मौनी ट्वेंटी सिक्स क्वालिटी दिस इज वेरी गुड क्वालिटीज दिस इज नॉट ऑर्डिनरी क्वालिटी सो ऑल दी दो क्वालिटीज कमिंग इन साधु लाइफ साधु हार्ट ऑल्सो इन वैष्णव लाइफ बट एनी वन फॉलोइंग दिस क्वालिटीज कृपालु अकृत द्रोह सत्य सार उद्धव आस्ट श्री कृष्ण हाउ कैन अंडरस्टैंड साधु हु इज साधु साधु क्वालिटी हाउ इज साधु क्वालिटी हाउ कैन अंडरस्टैंड देन श्री कृष्ण टोल कृपालु अकृत द्रोह सत्य सार समूह साधु दे आर वेरी ग्रेट मार्सिफु अकृत द्रोह नॉन वायोलेंस नॉट किलिंग अदर्स एंड सत्य सार समूह ऑल इज स्पीकिंग ट्रूथ समूह ऑल इज सेम मोर इको निर्दोष बदान मृदु सूची अकिंचन हिज लाइफ नो एनी फॉल्ट एंड बदान वेरी काइंडनेस मृदु वेरी सॉफ्ट अकिंचन Nothing else. Always only one mood to Sri Krishna, and other way. Kripalu Akita Dwa Satta Sar Sama Nirdosh Badan Namrudu Suchi Akinjan. Sarvo Pakare Ka Samta Krishna Ika Saran Helping Adas. Very peaceful mind, and Krishna Ika Saran only takes help that to Sri Krishna. Akinjan. I Akinjan Niskinjan no any anything else. A simple life and simple mood, and only takes shelter to Sri Krishna. So in this way, Mita who apramatta manada amani, and no any desires, no not eating too much. Mita who apramatta manada amani very careful, give him respect to others, and amani don't want any respect. Gambhir karun maitra very deep. And Karun Marsipul, fancy mood. In this way, Kobi Dasa Mauni, very expert, Kobi poet, and Mauni silent mood. In this way, these those good qualities coming I mean, in Sadhu. Many many person in this world. So anyone they are following these qualities. Oh, I am very, very happy, and they are following this. Only takes shelter to Sri Krishna, but no higher sadhans. They are also ordinary person sadhu. They are not great person sadhu. But these qualities come everyone's life. So they are. Sri Krishna told, "Oh my dear Uddhav, agyaya iva guna ando sam, maya disto anapi swakam, dharma ang santajya mam bhaje swacha sattama." They are great person sadhu. Who let all desires, all religions, all things, any rules, so everything let only take shelter me and serve me. They are they call they call Satyam great sadhu, but they are not boys now. These are boys sadhu quality, but they are not boys now. When will be boys now? When they are taking shelter to Guru Padmapatma to initiations, mantra initiations, and worshiping deities, they are Vaishnava. But there are Sri Krishna told, Kanista Madam and Uttam. So we hear from Guru Dev. So Kanista Madam Uttam, there are three qualities Vaishnava. But how they are doing? Kanista Adhikari only worship deities taking. Initiations, mantra initiations from Guru Dev, but not give him respect to others, not give him respect to sadhus. So they are Kanista Adhikari. In Vaishnav life, most important things give him respect to others, and Vaishnav sadhu everyone. If not give him respect, then they are going less. So Sri Krishna told, "Just Shyama Buddhi Guna Pe, not taking initiations." जस्यात्म बुद्धि गुण पे त्रिधातु के स्वाधि कलत्र आदि सुभमयिज्यादि जब तीर्थ बुद्धि सलीले न करे ची जने सु अभिज्ञे सु स्वयं व गोखर they are animals more than they are donkeys because not giving respect to others they have attachment in body 
they have attachment in family and everywhere they worship like stones and deities, so many things, but not taking shelter to Gurudev. And who is taking shelter and worshiping deities, but not giving him respect, he is Kalishta Adhikari. So many persons, we have seen so many persons, or oh, very senior sadhus, but not give him respect to sadhu. So they are Kalishta Adhikari. And when give him respect? Then they are middle level Vaishnavas. Vaishnav qualities is give him respect to others. And with them, great person sadhu, they have qualifications. They can see to Sri Krishna's sweetness Leela and his beautiful form. In this way they call Vaishnavas. Great person. Very good. <laughs> so, Sri Krishna spoke, conditioned souls, liberated souls, and sadhu's qualities, but all qualities in sadhu's life come in. Who is following this pure bhakti, then they are alive, all gods, they are coming, and these qualities come in. Harava bhaktasya kuto mahadguna manorate na satidhavato vahi. Who is non devotee, only materialist uh, mood. So there are, if have previous life good qualities, so everything finish this life. Not good qualities, so nothing, then they are falling in hell. They are going hell. So harava bhaktasya kuto mahadguna manorate na satidhavato vahi. They are manorat, always they are feeling and thinking so material things. They are not devotee. But devotees, when they are following bhakti, then good qualities come in their life, then they become pure Vaishnavas. Bancha Agagot University Anyhow, he has told right. Shant is all category of person. Those who are not attached to this world, oh, they are all Shanta. So Mayabadi also Shant, but they are not. Hare Krishna, now we will start drama, be ready for drama. Prior to that, there is an announcement, Sipad, Bhagavad Puru and other will do. Prior to that, I want to say, after fire sacrifice, we have collected all from Guru Dev. They can come forward and they pay their abhishances and alms. Who has collected all from Guru Dev after fire sacrifice, they can come forward and offer to Sipad Guru.